Spratty McJacko asks, when are you going to propose to Sam? Um, what is going on TFG squad? My name is Brandon and we did it. 150,000 subscribers on the channel. I feel like it was only a couple days ago I was dyeing my hair purple for 100,000. And now we have 50,000 more members of the TFG squad. So I haven't done a Q&A since I had 15,000 subscribers. And when I did that Q&A, we got maybe 30 or 40 questions, which was great. This time we got 450 questions, guys. I can't sit here and answer 450 questions. The video would be 10 hours long. So I picked like 30 or 40 of the best questions. I really do apologize if you didn't make it into the Q&A. I will be having Q&As in the future, but I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so the first question comes from First Forest, and he says, at a million subscribers, will you paint your Honda purple? Uh... <laughs> Probably not, but you know what? I will make a deal with you guys. I will make a deal. If we get the Frustrated Gamer channel to 10 million subscribers and I get the diamond play button, I will paint my Honda purple, guys. You can hold me to that. Somebody clip it. Somebody record this right now. I will paint it purple. Mr. Gallopy asks, is being a YouTuber stressful or very fun? I would say both, honestly. Being a YouTuber is stressful because of how much work it takes. Like, guys, I pretty much work seven days a week. I'm not able to take days off, but it's also extremely fun. Lock Roz says, can you tell the story about your job and in the past before becoming a YouTuber? Uh, that's actually a really good question. So I used to be an accountant. Some of you guys might know that. And I just quit my job this past fall. So I was pretty much doing accounting and YouTube for a while, almost two years. So I worked in New Jersey. I had an hour and a half commute. So I was in the car three hours a day. I didn't love my job, guys. I will be honest with you. It was a good company. I worked with good people. I was just not set out for a desk job. Bird Builder asks, are you going to run for president? Well, I think you have to be 35 or 34. I don't know. You have to be like 35 or 34. So I can't run for president yet. But maybe, you know what? Maybe you will see TFG 20... 28? I don't know what years there's going to be, but I think in about eight years I could run for president. Maybe nine years, so maybe I'll have to wait until 2032. I don't know, but uh, but the, <laughs> the real answer is probably not. Now, this is a question from Austin Curtis. Brandon, I have a question for you. Pick one. Are you awesome or awesome? Now, let me think about that because I want to answer it properly. Now, on one hand, I think of myself as being very awesome. You know, I run the YouTube channel that I have. I play a lot of games. I play with OB and Spy and Komodo. But on the other hand, I do think I'm kind of awesome. I'm going to be honest with you guys because I have the podcast. I do a lot of other things too. Man, I really want to go with both. But he said I can only pick one. I'm going to go with awesome. Rowan asks me, when do you think you're going to retire from YouTube? Wow, uh, I'm kind of hoping never. I, I don't know, guys. I legitimately, I said it's a lot of work and it's stressful, but I legitimately love what I do. I absolutely love the Frustrated Gamer channel. I think about it 24-7. I dream about it. I work on the channel all the time. So as of right now, maybe my opinions will change in the future, but as of right now, I don't plan on ever retiring. So you guys are kind of stuck with me for a while. Bird Builder asks me, why are you running? I don't think I'm running right now, but I could be wrong. Abnormal Plays asked me, have you ever deleted a video with the thought that this isn't good enough? That's actually a really good question. And the answer is yes. I don't know if I've ever actually posted the video to YouTube, but I've recorded tons of videos, probably one a month that I record, I edit, and I watch it, and I'm like, I really just don't like this video, and I delete it and don't even post it. I try to only put things on my channel that I'm proud of. Uh, I mean, there's videos that I like more than other videos, but yes, the answer to that is probably one video a month, I would say. Captain Infinity has a great question. Do you have any advice for someone who's thinking of becoming a YouTuber? My main advice, and I know a lot of people will roll their eyes, is just get out there and start making videos. If you go on my channel and look at my first videos, 
Guys, they're terrible. You can barely watch the first minute without cringing. Hey guys, I am Brandon. I'm the Frustrated Gamer and welcome to my first YouTube video. But you know, you just get better. So your first videos are never going to be the best videos, but the only way you can get better is just go out there and start making videos. Ben Rhymes asks, how did you and Sam first meet? So for those of you that don't know, Sam is my girlfriend. Uh, we actually met back in college at Penn State University. We were both in the tennis club. So I was two years older than her. So I think I was a junior in college and she was a freshman and she walked into the tennis club one day I was like hey that girl's kind of pretty and then you know being the immature man that I was I pretty much ignored her for the next year and then, and then my senior year she was a sophomore we started kind of just becoming friends uh, we saw each other you know maybe a few times a week at the tennis club and then little by little we started dating and the rest is history Spratty McJacko asks when are you going to propose to Sam um, can I say next question? <laughs> no, guys, I don't know exactly what I'm going to pr propose to Sam uh, at this point, but I will definitely keep you guys updated if, uh, if anything changes. Gallon Chan asks, can you dance or sing? Uh, well, I like to think that I'm a great singer and dancer, uh, but the real answer to that is no. I, I can't dance or sing to save my life. I mean, these are the questions that I'm talking about. Best question of the day so far. Uzma Allah says, if people don't hit the subscriber button, should I punch them in the nutcrackers or hit them in the nutcrackers? Now, this is a fantastic question because a nutcracker punch is hard to come back from, but a hit to the nutcrackers... That's really going to set you back a couple days, so if you don't hit the subscriber button or even the like button, you know what, Uzma? Punch them right in the nutcrackers for me. Carlo says, how does it feel to know that you have over 150 great supporters and congratulations on 150,000? You're my favorite YouTuber. Well, thank you, Carlo. That's really nice of you. I'm glad that I'm your favorite YouTuber. Man, it feels awesome. It really does. Uh, I started the channel a little over two years ago. For the first year, I had less than a thousand subscribers. I really loved those subscribers. They were really active in my comment section. Um, but just to know that more and more people like the channel and, and support the channel is awesome. The fact that we've built a community of 150,000 plus subscribers, it, you know, it, it's it, it really is awesome. I'm kind of speechless sometimes when I think about it. Mousa asks a great question. Do you like tomatoes? Now, this may seem like a very plain and random question, but you know what? Tomatoes are something that I feel like you either love or hate. Uh, I used to hate tomatoes, right? I like tomato sauce, like if I was having pasta sauce, but I didn't like tomatoes, like if it was in a salad or a sandwich or something like that. But, uh, but now I actually really like them. So I like tomatoes, but my girlfriend, Sam, doesn't like them, except for if it's in like a sauce or something like that. Harrow Brian asked me, what is your favorite tennis champion? Rafael Nadal, guys. If any of you guys know anything about tennis, you know that I'm a huge Nadal fan. I also like Djokovic, Federer, Andy Murray. I like a lot of tennis players. Jonah asks me, where is your silver play button at? You know what, Jonah? That's a pretty darn good question. So for those of you that don't know, when you get to 100,000 subscribers, YouTube sends you a silver play button. It's like a plaque that says your name on it and congratulations. And it's actually a pretty cool thing. Maybe I'll hang it in my office. Uh, but sometimes YouTube takes a while to send the play button. And I have been in contact with them. They are sending the play button. Uh, but we're over 150,000 subscribers and I still haven't gotten my darn play button. We might be at 200,000 subscribers before I get it. But when I do get the play button, I will let you guys know. I'll probably post it on my Instagram. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, definitely follow me right now, guys. Follow me. A link is in the description. I post a couple new pictures and videos every single week and it's stuff separate. So it's just my personal life, me hanging out with my friends, my girlfriend, my family. Uh, so you guys can see some cool things aside from the channel on my Instagram page. Just look up the Frustrated Gamer on Instagram. Action Fraction, and a lot of you guys asked this question, so if I didn't pick you, I'm sorry, but this was probably 10 questions. How did you meet OB, Spy, and Komodo? And a lot of you may know this answer, because I answered this in my previous Q&A for 15,000 subscribers, but I was doing a live stream, a Roblox live stream, like a year and a half ago, and I had spoken to Beautiful OB before on his videos and at, in Reddit and stuff like that, but he actually hopped into the live stream and said, hey, Brandon, loving the video. And I was like 
thrown aback. I'm like, oh my goodness, OB is in my channel because I thought, you know, he had over, I think he had like 300,000 subscribers at the time. And so at the end of the live stream, I was like, what do I have to lose? So I typed to OB, I said, if you ever want to make a video together, definitely let me know. And he was like, yeah, sure, just reach out to me. And then I made a video with him, and then he introduced me to Spy and Komodo, and the rest is history. John Thone asks, what car and what pet do you have, and please show us. Well, I'm probably not going to show you right now, but I actually have a Hedgehog, and I have a Honda Civic. And you know what? Why not? Let's go on a field trip, guys. I'm going to take you on a field trip. All right, so first things first, I'll introduce you guys to Percy, who's my pet Hedgehog. Now, I did a house tour video two or three weeks ago. If you guys missed that, go check it out. I introduced Percy another time too. But here's Percy. So Percy is my very shy hedgehog. It's actually Sam's hedgehog, but uh, you can see him kind of twitching around there. Hey, Purse Man. Hey, Purse Man. He's a little sharp because he's covered in spikes, so I'm not going to pick him up. Somehow Sam knows how to pick him up without getting hurt, but uh, I'm going to let him sleep. I think he's a little grumpy. There you go. There he is. Hey, purse buddy. And then I'll go downstairs and show you guys my car. I don't think I've showed my car in a long time. I think I showed it in a video maybe a year or two ago. So we're gonna go, we're gonna hop over into the garage. Let me turn the light on. Eh, eh. Turn the darn light on. There we go. Uh, it's gonna be really echo in here, but here's my car, guys. It's a 2015 gray Honda Civic. So no, I don't drive a Maserati or a Lamborghini like Logan Paul or Jake Paul, but uh, I really do love my Civic. It's got a little over 100,000 miles on it because my old job, I put a lot of miles on there. Uh, but no, it's a good car. That was history, by the way. I've never gone on a field trip mid-video, so you guys are witnessing frustrated gamer history right now. All right, next question. Captain asks another question. Do you have any hobbies? So outside of YouTube, I assume. Yes, I actually play a lot of tennis. Uh, so that's kind of my biggest hobby. I play tennis two or three times a week. Love it. Uh, I made a video. I know I keep talking about other videos, but this is for those of you that are interested in my hobbies. This is where you can kind of watch them. For 75,000 subscribers, I made a video where I showed you guys me playing tennis at my tennis club. So you guys could see that if you want to check it out. Uh, I also hang out with my friends. I love watching sports. I'm a big Penn State fan, Philadelphia Eagles fan. I like watching basketball. So I do a lot of other things outside of YouTube. But yeah, probably tennis is the biggest thing. This is a great question. I got this last Q&A too. What is gobbledygook? I've always wondered that. And it's from the Baldi's Basics Impossible question. So if you guys have never seen me play Baldi's Basics, I always yell gobbledygook when Baldi gives you the question that doesn't make any sense. And the, the answer, I have no idea. Guys, sometimes I say things and I don't even realize I'm saying it, but there was a Baldi's Basics video where I yelled gobbledygook and everybody seemed to think it was funny and then I just kind of kept saying it. So that's, that's kind of the answer. I have no idea where it came from. Is there anything else you would like to do with your studio? How long does it take to make a video? And do you have any goals for the year? Great questions there by Captain. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I really need to do with my studio. I got my sound foam up. I got a new camera. I got a new microphone. It takes me, it depends on the video for how long it takes, but probably between three and five hours per video. Some of the vlogs take a lot longer, like the one where I had my friends holding an Amazon gift card and whoever held onto it the longest won. That one probably took more like eight hours. Uh, and then some of the other videos like this might take two or three hours. So it really depends on the video. But my goals for the year are, I really wanted to stick with making one vlog a week. So I didn't used to do that. I used to do all gameplay videos. But now you guys have noticed every Sunday I have a new vlog, which you guys seem to love. But I don't really have a goal for how many subscribers I want. I'd love to keep growing. I mean, I'll throw a number out there. I'd love to... You know what, by the end of the year, if we could get to 300,000 subscribers, that would be awesome. Vortex is asking a real controversial question here. Pineapple on pizza, yay or nay? Vortex, I don't know if you're a yay or a nay guy, but me personally, I do not put pineapple on my pizza. I like the normal sauce with cheese. Maybe if you want to put pepperoni or onions or even like chicken, something like that but definitely not pineapple for me. Miles asked me, why did you become a YouTuber and can you make a draw my life? So I did make a draw my life. I know I keep talking about past videos for 500 subscribers, guys. That was well over a year ago. I did make a draw my life. So if you look up the frustrated gamer draw my life, it should come up in YouTube. Energy Gaming asked me, why don't you kill yourself? 
Um, I don't know. I'm overall pretty happy with my life, so I think I'm gonna, uh, refrain from killing myself for now. Ken asks me, have you ever broken your phone? And that's actually a funny question because my parents have a pool, right? So I was going into the pool and I had my phone in my pocket of my bathing suit. I don't know why bathing suits make pockets. I feel like that's just asking for issues. But I had my phone in my bathing suit because I got changed way earlier. I literally jump off the diving board. I am in midair and I remember that I have a phone in my pocket. So I reach really quickly to get the pocket and I tried to throw the phone out of the pool. Didn't even come close. Phone was fried. But that's the only time I've ever broken a phone. Bentley's Cool, an OG of the channel, asked me, have you ever tried skiing? It's pretty fun. I have. I've gone skiing like maybe three or four times in my life. I am not very good. I'm actually very terrible at it, but I always enjoy going. All right, the last question, another OG of the Frustrated Gamer channel, Top Hat Legend. What would you do if a fan found your address, went to your house, and asked for an autograph and a picture with you? Um, I mean, in reality, what I would probably do is sign the autograph and take the picture with the fan. But, uh, that would be a little creepy if someone somehow found my address and hunted me down. So, uh... Yeah, don't try not to come to my house if you know where I live. All right, guys, that was it for the questions. Again, if I missed your question, I'm so sorry. We had over 400, so I couldn't get to all of them. Thank you to all of you that submitted questions. If you want me to do more Q&As in the future, definitely hit that like button and let me know. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscriber button. Thank you all so much for 150,000 subscribers. Let's go to 200 now, guys, and I will see all of you in the next video.